Today, a Fairborn High School student died in this crash in Beaver Creek Township. This tragic news spread quickly in the Fairborn community. And we have the teen's name tonight, but out of respect for the teen's family, we are not releasing it until troopers do. And tonight, people we talked with said she was smart, a go-getter, and a well-rounded student. News Center 7's Brandon Lewis is live outside Fairborn High School. Brandon, you talked with a senior who said she just lost her best friend today. That's right, James. She said she's still in shock over what happened, but she agreed to talk to me because she wants people to remember who her friend was. I walked into the school and everybody that was still there for sports after school and everything, everybody was a mess. Everybody was crying. I talked on the phone with Haley Miller Friday night. She said her best friend touched so many people. It just, it really hit everybody really hard just because of how involved she was and she knew everybody. Troopers told News Center 7 the Fairborn High School student died in this crash Friday morning. They said a dump truck hit the car the teen was driving. I don't know how to feel. I've never lost somebody this close to me before. Haley said the two grew up together and described her as a light at Fairborn High. She told me she was a straight-A student and well involved at the school. We became captains together on the cross-country team and from there we just we hung out all the time. We did each other's nails. We just she was my person to go to if I ever needed somebody to talk to. Um, she was just the person that could always make me laugh no matter what. In a letter to parents, the district said it will provide counseling during this time and that the staff, students, and community are deeply affected by this tragedy. She was so ambitious and she would have gone so far. And I want everybody to take the light that she gave us and run with it. Troopers told us two other teens were in that car at the time of the crash. They were taken to the hospital and we're still working to see their conditions and see if there are students here at Fairborn High School. The district said there will be a candlelight vigil for the student here at the school tomorrow evening. We're live in Fairborn. Brandon Lewis, New Center 7. All right, Brandon, thank you.